What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to today's episode, where today we are finally going to be looking at God 7 with Just Right. Now, this video over the last seven years nearly collected a half a billion clicks like a half a billion i mean now it's around 407 million clicks but oh my god that is a lot of views and i must say i'm excited to look at this video because i'm wondering what is all the hype about and maybe i do know the song maybe i don't but there's one way to find out and that is to go right into today's video before we start with today's video i do want to say that i am a little bit excited to go into this video because 2015 2016 2017 for me is a very interesting era especially when i look at how mvs were made and it seems like this was the era where K-pop more or less was re-fixing itself, you know, trying to get its own new edge to it. And that's why I'm excited to see how this video performs. And of course, guys, if you do enjoy the content you're about to see, make sure you hit that lovely like button and make sure you're subscribed because there's many, 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 many more videos that we need to check out. So let's start with Just Right. Beautiful shot, by the way. Okay, before we continue, well, I think she looks upset. I didn't even know she was upset because everything looks so happy. I just want to say I love the colors. The colors really look lovely. They really look bubbly. Very, very nice. Is she crying, though? Like, there is a tear. Now that I see it, there is a tear, but is it a real tear? Hard to say because it's quite... Oh, that looks quite real. What is even happening? Like, how did even... Okay, let's go, let's go back. We have to watch this all in one go, okay? The tear drops and... This is so weird. Like, can you imagine that you're like 12 years old and everything starts vibrating around you and then there is this little midget, uh, or not even a midget, like I don't even know what this is, a really, really micro midget um, type of person in your drawers. I must say they did a really good job though with scaling him on the object because it really looks as if he's really just sitting there. They did a fantastic job in making sure that everything fits. It tends that in K-pop they just don't have big budgets to really perfectionize smaller elements like this but here they did a fantastic job and I also love that they still have that little mirror here with her face appearing in it because then you still know okay it's still about God 7 but the main character in this case the small girl with the glasses is still present you know it's still to make sure that we know that we're talking about her really cool also, fantastic job here on choosing this lens. So this is a really wide lens and it basically disforms the face a lot, but it gives this perspective as if we're looking at her from his perspective, which is fantastic. I love it. It just looks spot on. Like, how the hell are they doing this? So I do have a theory. So let's actually have a look at this, okay? So he's, we know that he's sitting on the clock here. We know that the clock in the room is also real. But how did they make it look so real? And I have one theory that they remodeled the entire set of the clock in this particular shot. So everything where he's sitting on is actually real. The text and everything is basically the size of the real person. And then they molded it back onto the scene. Wow. They really did a good job so far. Okay, I do know the song. Wow, like I am so surprised by the detail in this shot. So in a lot of videos, they would literally forget to make sure that there are shadows or anything that really looks as if they're standing there. But here they have the shadows included. And I do think that this is a real set. Oh man, this is great with the shadows. They're really selling it as if they're really standing there. This is amazing. You do not see that many MVs that really focus on those small details like this one. So, for example, here you can see more or less that they are fake because all of a sudden the shadows are gone. And that's really hard because you need to play with the perspective. I mean, we're not only filming them, we're also filming the real girl. So, in this case, everything is real except for God 7. But this, again, is a real-life set. This is amazing. They just made everything look bigger in real. At least that's how I perceive it. And then they mix all the different shots together. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, 
Really bubbly sound though. So this is, for example, how you know that they remodeled that smaller set that you see on her table as real life size. He's literally sitting on the horse, which is life size. They are sitting on these boxes that they also have, or that she also has as a miniature on her table. Amazing. This is fantastic for an MV. Actually, I like the choreography a lot. <laughs> Amazing. Like, again, you know, these, these fruit pops, I don't know what they're called, but the cereal is basically, again, it's real life size. It's amazing what they did here. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but it's just amazing that they blended in those real life sets with the miniatures. Amazing. They did a fantastic job on this MV. And this is 2015, and we're watching videos in 2022, which didn't even match up to this in any way. Like, this is really focusing on something and making it good. <laughs> You know, watching all of these uh, choreographies, you just get addicted to uh, dance with them all of a sudden. Really, really cool. Like even having this small Barbie car, I mean, we know it's a real Barbie car, but we can also imagine that there is a toy version of it somewhere in her room. They really made sure that the details fit. I mean, they did a fantastic job. And on top of that, there is as minimal green screen as possible. They really made sure that the budget is done and spread accordingly on all the needed sets. Amazing. <laughs> Really cool. Good for her though. The one thing that I still think is a little bit disturbing in this uh, scenario, and I'm just, you know, just saying what's in my head is, She's supposed to be a girl of 12 years old and these mini people, the, the miniatures are older, you know, they're 18, 20, 22. I don't know how old they are in this in this time, but you have to think about it. It's it's, it's it, you can really get the wrong picture of it. Like what are they even doing there? Are they supposed to save her or what? Because they're dancing in a room, spying on her. It's a little bit awkward if you think about it. Okay, maybe I'm taking it completely out of context, but I do want to mention it. I love it. Even even this, for example. Again, it's a massive sponge. They put some cream on it. He can lick his fingers. They really are mixing up all the elements that, on what they can make big, but also what is actually small. Fantastic. Like here, for example. You know, it, it, it turns a little bit sexual. Like, with the lips and everything. And again, you have to remember... These movements or these these actions are still done in a room with a girl that is maybe 12, 13 years old. Like, just think about it. It's uh, I, I, I'm not going to say if it's good or bad. I just want to put it out there for you guys, okay? Really cool. Really cool, though. I, I, I really am in love with this video. The details are just spot on. I don't even think that movies like Pixar or the animation studios like Pixar or anything that makes high-end videos, you know, can get it as correct as this. Like sometimes when you have scaling issues, they have a lot of issues because it's really hard to make things look small or big, you know, depending on how you look at it. But here they really did an amazing job. And you have to imagine this is still only an MV. It is not even a movie, but I wish it was. Like I think it could be a really cool story and also explain itself to who these people actually are. You know, also with all the dust and everything coming out of the pillow, they did a fantastic job. Everything just looks, looks real. And that's the thing, because it is all real. It's all practical. And I know I'm giving this MV a lot of a lot of compliments, but it's true. It deserves it. Ah, 
I like the choreography a lot. Nice. What a video. What a video indeed. But yeah, guys, that is God7 with Just Right. I just want to say that this video is fantastic. I wish I saw it a little bit earlier, but from now on, I just want to say it really just hits the ball out of the park and it has no issues at all. Like coming from a cinematic perspective, it really just does everything correct. Like the perspectives are correct. The lenses that they use are correct. Playing with all the different dimensions and also using real life props in all the different scenarios, staying away from green screen as much as possible they did it amazingly also even with adding those small little shadows because they are real shadows and putting them on the table fan Fantastic. They did everything right in this MV. And on top of that, the choreography, the song, it's so bubbly. How can you not like it? But hey, I like it. I hope you do as well. If you don't, that's your loss, not ours. But anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. And uh, like always, if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that lovely like button. Make sure you subscribe to be part of the next video. And of course, all the links are down how you want to communicate with me as well. If you want to join on Discord, Patreon, everything is there. So I'll catch you on the next video guys stay happy stay positive and be awesome